Look at that pretty pattern. Someone has done an impressive job of leaving completely matte sandy marks and horrendous holograms all over the vehicle. In this video, we're gonna talk about microfiber pads, or more importantly, use microfiber pads. My precious. <laughs> this panel is actually very badly sanded. Traditionally, everyone would probably look at this panel and go, you've got to use a rotary. And of course, you would be able to fix it with a rotary. But I wanna show you the advantage of a microfiber, of how heavy cut it can be, and how it leaves a really clean finish. Might be micro hazing, but it polishes up or refines down very, very easily. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna use a selection of different size microfiber pads. And obviously a larger one we use in the middle. And I'm gonna use the small ones on the intricate areas where it's completely matte, bad sanding. So I'm gonna start with the tricky little areas, first of all. And I'm not gonna try and do the whole area in one go. I'm just gonna give myself a section of this rear bumper to do. I've masked up the part that we've just polished because I don't really want to re-polish that area. And we've got all these tricky areas. So basically, I want to show you that a one-inch pad, we're going to do all these little smaller areas first, possibly a two-inch pad there, but you know what? It is easy to do there with a one-inch. And in the larger areas, we'll do with a five-inch machine. So I'm going to try and put the most tiniest blobs on. Just going to gently, pretty much, pat that down and spread. You can see it's on my fingertip. I'm just going to pat that down spread it around so it's in as much of the fibers as possible. So I'm gonna go through half of the sanding marks here just to show you this bottom half is now corrected. So while well, Cutting with a one inch pad, I have zero pressure. It is literally just the most gentlest touch. Because the surface area, compared to a larger pad, we've got a tiny little surface area. The last thing I want to do is push down the same as I may do with a five inch pad. Because we've got a tiny contact patch, it's going to be really, really aggressive. Let's see what that's achieved. Untape it, we can do a 50 50. It's always the usual routine. Check it now. Yep, it's a massive improvement. Now that we see it's worked here, what would I change? I'm gonna stick with the microfiber. I'm gonna stick with the one inch along here. Make sure you get all these little tight areas all finished first. Running up and down, probably two passes on some of these. That was only one, but I can see some deeper marks here. So I might need two passes, but I'm gonna inspect after one pass, check it, alcohol wipe it, check it with the light. Then I'll go to the middle. I did it in sections. So I did it in small sort of sections and I overlapped so I didn't miss anywhere. Well, I spread the compound out. And the idea of spreading the compound out is when it's fresh and new, it's got the most cut. As you work the compound, it diminishes. So I started off basically this. And then I turned the speed up once I spread it. Just briefly. Then I turned the speed back down. As the speed went back down, and I went to the next area, did the same, all, repeat the process. I ended up with the boundaries of overlapping, and then that gave me a more precise controlled cut than me trying to wave the machine around. So I can see it's going to need one more pass, but probably not as long. The majority of the defects are gone. So what I'm going to do first is go around all the other areas, then come back and do it for the second time. Repeat the process. Once I'm happy with all those areas, then I'll go to the middle. So as you can see, compared to where it's really swirly, this is now 
dull looking because of the micro marring that's been cut. So that will refine down very, very easily. We've got the middle now. So you can see a boundary strip around the edge where it's got micro hazing. So it is interesting. Quite a few people do not like a microfiber pad or don't like using a microfiber pad simply because of this hazing, this dullness that could scare you because the car could look duller. That's going to refine back very easily. We'll better show you that later. Now we need to do the larger middle area. It would be crazy to go in with a one inch or two inch pad, obviously, it'd be silly. So we're going to go in with a five inch pad. We're going to go in with a same pad, same microfiber, no difference in technology. We're just going to go in through the middle area now. Same compound, same pad, different machine. The UDOS 51E from LC Power Tools. So now we have a new slight dilemma. What mode do I put it in? I'm gonna go 15 mil, which is what mode we're in now, the P2. We have P1, 12 mil, P3, 21 mil. But I'm going to stick with 15 mil and the microfiber pad. When we say five inch, it's for a five inch backing, three inch for a three inch backing. The pad is actually larger than the backing, obviously, for safety, it makes more sense. So I'm gonna go with that size pad, five inch pad in 15 mil orbit to cut those swirls away. Now, I would always recommend to put more compound on a microfiber pad than I would a foam pad because the microfiber draw all the uh, compound in just like they would if it's dirty. Good habit, turn the machine down, any machine you're using, always turn it down. I'm going to just pat that in a small little area because that's essentially very similar to rubbing compound in. You can rub in your hand, you can just do that. So I'm gonna do a one pass first, where I'm just gonna spread past really. I'm gonna stop for the purpose of this video. So what I've done there, I've just done that quick spread. Now I'm gonna start doing the cutting. Massive improvement. It's going to need another pass at least. I see it's a lot glossier. I've now just got some random deeper marks. Remember with the UDOS 51E, which is very unique, I have the option to turn the mode up to P3 21mm. But just to prove to you that the microfiber has the ability to cut these away, I'm going to stick in that mode. Now this pass should be even better. I run that set for longer, so it diminishes down. Remember, when a compound diminishes down, it actually produces less cut. There is less cut being produced by a diminished compound, but it does mean it refines better. I'm still going to refine it with a finishing pad afterwards. I'm just more importantly looking and experimenting, testing myself. But there's struggling here to find but and then there's a couple of little areas down there what you can do a little tip what you can do where the compound is or where sorry the defects are I'm gonna put the compound so I'll put a blob there blob there and there's one there and that's a little marker if it doesn't slide off quickly pick it up where I can pat that out, pat that out, and pat that out. And we've got there three markers of where I need to work a bit longer. wipe it off again and hopefully we're finished. We actually can use a microfiber to finish down with as well which most people obviously would traditionally just go for a foam pad. So yep we've got exactly what I expected we've got micro hazing all through here which is very similar to be honest 
It's interesting actually, I actually think the UDOS has left less micro-hazing. Now, that's just simply physics. As I said before, a small contact patch compared to a large contact patch, you get less cut on a larger pad because you can't press as hard. So you have to put a little, I personally like to put a little bit of weight on a larger pad, but don't put the weight on a smaller pad. And it's very hard to see, but there's actually more micro marring from here. And bear in mind, this is a 12 mil orbit. That was in a 15 mil orbit. The larger the orbit, you get more micro marring. So you'd expect a sort of larger orbits. You get more micro marring here. It's because of the small pad. The small pad has such higher pressure contact patch. Sticking to the microfiber theme, I'm now going to use the black microfiber finishing pad. This is going to be unorthodox. Everyone always uses foam pad. I think the foam pads are traditionally what you should be using. So this is almost an experimentation for me. And actually to show you, it's like a real live, let's see what we get. Of course, if it's not good enough, well, it's good enough, glossy enough for our requirements, we can always go over with the foam pad. So I'm going to do the usual thing, priming the pad up, more so that it's a microfiber pad. It's going to suck in. You see it's very, very oily compound. I'm using a lovely finishing compound. I'm sure you've got your own preferred finishing compounds. Let's prime it all in. I'm good to go. Now one thing with the game with the UDOS is very unique, the UDOS 51E, is I can go down to P1, 12 mil or even 8 mil to adjust the cut level or lack of cut level or decrease the cut level with this finishing pad. I'm gonna stick in 15 mil mode, which is the P2 mode. Let's see what we get in 15 mil. Remove the masking tape. Wipe this area down. I'm not going to wipe everywhere fully because we're just concentrating on this 50 50 line. That's all we're looking for. I'm going to make sure it's uh, smear free for you guys to see in the middle. That's all I'm worried about. I'm now going to wipe this edge so it's not so distracting on the camera. But again, all we're looking for is down the middle. So it's worked perfectly. Come and have a look. So now we've seen the results from using two microfiber pads. Let me take this finishing pad off the UDOS 51E. So it's like a recap. We've used the cutting microfiber pad and the finishing microfiber pad. Two pads, that's all I've used, two compounds, really deep defects have all gone and it's refined down beautifully and of course we did use the small pads as well now i am going to go over the edges as well with a three inch microfiber finishing pad and then let's move on to the next part of the vehicle as always thanks for watching hopefully it's been helpful slightly unorthodox gone for microfiber only no foam pads in my shop in this building we really like microfiber and i think you can see why results speak for themselves don't forget to like, subscribe, keep on watching. It's Kelly Harris, goodbye.